Hi, my name is Rick Noel, and I'm an internet marketing consultant for eBiz ROI. And after reviewing some of our analytics data, I've noticed that we've had a fair amount of traffic to the site recently around getting the definition for XML sitemaps. And I suspect that people are looking for information on how to create XML sitemaps, particularly for Google, but for any search engine. Search engines use XML sitemaps to be able to better index sites, understand how frequently they should crawl the web pages and so forth. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to create an XML sitemap that you can then upload to the web server that houses your website. Um, we're using a tool here that I use frequently for many of the websites that eBiz ROI manages. This is the XMLSitemaps.com tool and what I'm going to do is start by scrolling down to enter the URL of eBiz ROI and then I'm going to provide a few other pieces of info information in terms of how frequently the site changes. I'm going to say daily which is pretty accurate and then I will say for last modification to use the server's response which you can see is the default value for last modified and then for priority, I'm going to select automatic priority, which is a new feature for this particular website, and then go ahead and click start. Now you can see that there's some things going on and it's giving me some status information about where it is in terms of generating my XML sitemap. And while it's doing that, I'll mention that this tool is a free tool. There's no subscription provided. You don't need to provide your email address or opt-in and it will provide an XML sitemap for sites up to 500 pages which is a pretty good sized site. I know most websites are probably smaller than that unless you happen to be a very large uh, national website that uh, maybe is a shopping site for instance. You can see that the status information is showing me how deep the links are. It's in the second level of depth right now. It looks like it's scanning some of the blog pages that eBiz ROI has. And once it's through scanning all this information, it's going to basically present me with different options on what I can use to download my XML sitemap. And so we'll uh, see that in a second. In the meantime, while we're waiting, an XML sitemap, again, is, is an important part of search engine optimization. It basically tells the search engines what pages exist on your site, how they're connected, and how often the search engine should come back and, and recheck or re-index the pages. In other words, how often they change. And so by having an XML sitemap, you facilitate the processes of your web pages getting listed in the search engine. And again, I suspect that people are searching for more information about XML sitemap because they're already aware of the basics. Now they want to get down to the business of actually creating an XML sitemap that can then be uploaded to the web server and then communicated to the search engines that you want to be indexed on. Right now it looks like we're actually in the third level of links, a depth of three and the indexing going on now is in the blog area. It's uh, up to almost two minutes have passed. It's estimating that there's 37 seconds left. Uh, the smaller your site, obviously, the quicker this, this runs. So if you only have a dozen or so pages, your site map will be generated in, in under a minute. Uh, as you grow beyond that, uh, we're up to 140 pages scanned here and we have 23 left so you can see as you go beyond 100 it will take some time to get your site indexed. And now we can see that we've actually completed the process and we're presented with the options to download the sitemap. I usually use the download of the uncompressed version and I'll go ahead and just click on that and it'll save the file to someplace on my hard drive once I've saved the XML sitemap, it can then be uploaded to the web server. The file name here is sitemap and then parentheses 1.xml. That only indicates that the sitemap is um, currently uh, a copy of a, of a newer sitemap file. So I would rename that to sitemap.xml, which is a standard name. I appreciate your interest in watching this video. I hope it's been helpful. I hope that you're able to generate your sitemap and get it uploaded to facilitate the search engines indexing your pages. Thanks and my name is Rick Noel and I'm an internet consultant for eBiz ROI.